Welcome to the Old Burley Hospital. This is amazing. I mean, ambitious to say the least. To say the least. You know, we have an emotional attachment to it. We had developed this love for it as just a beautiful building, one of the few in town that we happen to have. And so we loved it enough to where Chelsea um, took what was going to be a down payment for a home and turned it into this property. Wow. Yeah. No pressure, right? No pressure. Right. So financially wrapped up in it, emotionally wrapped up in it. Um, so we're really glad you guys are here. Well, let's head in then. All what right. Do you think, okay. huh? Come right. on in. Please, after you. Show us around. Thank you. I am really just a few steps removed from what Chelsea has already committed, which is literally her life savings. Yep. And if we are not successful here, um, that's, that's going to be both of our life savings. And so you have owned this for how long? About six months. And our experiences started on the second day. So your work is completely halted? I mean, you're not doing anything else in the building right now? It's at a standstill. You know, we had um, actually a concrete contractor coming through here. And we saw these shadow people. It really scared him. And, you know, we could see how much it scared him. I'm a construction worker. Three months ago, I came by and uh, I met Chelsea, and I asked her, could she show me around? So when you think about taking the job here, how do you feel about that? Well, I had to, I had to think it twice, because yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't say yes, because it's so creepy in there. Once I got to the second floor, that's where I started feeling a, a bad spirit. It's really creepy. Like, if you have somebody in back of you, like, right. walking with you, I believe there's probably demons in back of the walls. Tell me about your experience here at the Worley Hospital. Well, everything actually happened here on the first floor. I actually sat right here All right. in this little corner on the floor, and we sat here and we watched a shadow crawl across the floor. Can you describe the shadow? What did it, what did it look like? Was it like a person or a figure? Or... <laughs> it was creepy. It was, if it was a person, it, it crawled. It was crawling. It was okay. crawling, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it, no. it, it never stood up, so. So this is the old surgery, and it's also the living room of my future apartment. So here. this is where you would stay? Yeah. But I don't even know if I want to live here anymore. And um, I mean, Chelsea, is, she's a really private person, so I'm sorry. But the truth is she gave up a, an awesome career down in the DFW area, um, a beautiful condo, and then, and then this was a dream, and suddenly it's, it's a little bit more of a nightmare. We can feel your discomfort. Even being here with you, I can still see. So we will do our very best to try to get to the bottom of it. Let's do it. This is Grant, Kristen, and Daryl on the third floor. That was weird. Something just walked right in front of us. Are you serious? Almost as if it came out of this room right here. That close? Right to the staircase. It was boom, right in front of it. So, I mean, we can stop and look at it. Yeah, want. yeah. Yeah, let's do it. OK. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that cool? Did yeah. you see that? That was Gosh, it was right in front of us. Watch, 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 watch. Whoa. As soon as Daryl, Chris, and I got up on the third floor, we caught this figure moving from left to right across the thermal imaging camera. We'd like to know who we're speaking with. Are we speaking to a person right now? Are you associated with the hospital? So any of the entities that are here, if there's a woman here with us, please uh, touch that device again. Oh. Were you a nurse in this hospital? Did you work as a surgical nurse in this hospital? Yes. Thank you very much. Is your, is your name uh, Mary Lucille Myers? Mary Lucille Myers was a surgical nurse who unfortunately killed herself in this hospital. Wow. So she died on the premises. Am I speaking with a Mary Lucille Myers right now? Just to clarify, if I'm speaking with Mary Lucille Myers, could you please make that blue light go off just like you did before? Dude, there's no electricity in here. We shouldn't be getting any EMF. Mary, did I see you? Was that, were you the person I saw downstairs? Okay. 
Hey Ghost Hunters fans, be sure to subscribe to the A&E YouTube channel for more paranormal content and catch full episodes on A&E or AETV.com.